Okay, girls. You ready to see the movie? I'm ready. I'm ready, too. What film are we seeing tonight, Rancis? It's gonna be a surprise. Now follow me. Hello, kids. Welcome to the cinema. What movie are you seeing? Can I whisper it to your ear so I can keep it a surprise to the girls? Okay, sure. Okay, the movie is playing in theater number 12. I'll give you the ticket. And does any one of you want popcorn for the movie? I'd like some. I'll have some too. Me three. Okay, kids. Here you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Enjoy the movie. Okay, here's our theater. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Any of you need to use the restroom too? Not me, Rancis. I'm good. I'm good too. Okay, girls. Let's go into the theater. All right, so you girls can start eating your popcorn while I run to the restroom. The coming attraction should start in a few minutes. Okay, Rancis, but I'd rather wait for the actual movie to begin before I start eating my popcorn. Okay, I'll be right back. Gonna head to the men's restroom. You know, Candlehead, I'm actually feeling a bit nervous about seeing the movie. Why? Because you don't know what's gonna happen in the film? Sometimes I get nervous about the sudden things that jump out. I get nervous too sometimes. But right now I'm in a happy mood. Maybe you should start feeling happy too. But Candlehead? Taffeta, look at all these people. They all look so excited to see the movie. Well, I guess I must actually be pretty excited then, Candlehead. Excellent. But Candlehead, when does the movie start? Right after these coming attractions. They usually play these trailers of other films before the movie begins. Oh, look, it's the Toy Story 4 trailer. I'm not interested in seeing it. But I am. Okay. I always wanted to know what would become of the toys after they moved to Bonnie's house. And look, Bo Peep's getting a bigger role. I don't really watch Toy Story films, but I do remember at a party they were playing the second film on a projector screen in the conference room. I think that was Sonic's birthday party in 2005, but I didn't really watch the movie. Oh, okay. You don't have to be a Toy Story fan. I know. <gasps> Taffeta, look. The movie is just about to start now. This means that all the coming attractions are over. I'm surprised they did not play the Fast and Furious preview. Those movies have been a big success. But wait a minute, Rancis hasn't come back yet, and it's been like 10 minutes since he left for the bathroom. It's okay, Taffeta. Rancis should be coming back by now. Are you kidding me? Rancis always takes forever using the bathroom. He's gonna waste half the movie, and I'm gonna go get him. Taffeta, you can't go into the men's restroom. You're a girl. But Rancis is going to keep stalling in the bathroom, and I just can't take it. And I'm going to get him out. What in the world is up with you, Taffeta? Oh, boy. Can't wait to see the movie. Gonna wash my hands before I eat my um, popcorn. Rancis? Oh, my God! Taffeta, what are you doing in the men's room? And what do you want me for? I'm just about to wash my hands. Rancis! You took like forever in the restroom and the movie had just started. Can you just try and hurry up when using the restroom in the movie theater? I'm sorry, but sometimes it takes a while. Well, you really don't want to miss out on anything, do you? You were like 10 minutes in the bathroom and it's been like a minute or two since the movie started. Taffeta, you gotta be patient for someone to come back. And can you please leave while I wash my hands? You don't belong in the boys' room anyway. You're a girl. Okay. Candlehead, you're not going to believe this, but Rancis is missing out on this epic opening scene. Actually, I missed out on the first few minutes as well.
Candlehead, why aren't you saying anything? Because I want to watch the movie. You haven't eaten your popcorn yet. I'll eat it later during the film. Are you sure you want to wait till later of the movie? The popcorn will be getting colder by then. I don't feel hungry right now. But you like to eat your popcorn warm, don't you? And you don't like it cold. So, why don't you eat your popcorn now? Can we just watch the movie silently, without talking, so we can hear what's going on? Okay. I'm gonna start having my popcorn. Finally washed my hands. Now I can go see the movie. Oh boy, this is gonna be so fun. I can't even wait to taste that butter popcorn because I love butter. I'm gonna go inside and see Detective Pikachu right now. Look at all these posters. Boy, these movies do look so interesting. There's How to Train Your Dragon, Penguins, Fast and Furious, Dora. I wonder what's back there. I'm gonna go see. The IMAX theater? I wonder why they call it the IMAX. I don't know. I'll just go in and see. Oh my goodness. This looks very cool. The screen is so big. I wonder what movie it's playing. Countdown to IMAX. That's cool. I gotta get back to see Pikachu, though. Oh, Candlehead. Pikachu is so cute. I can really adore him. Oh, golly. It really is you on the screen, Pikachu. Hey girls, I'm back. Francis, what were you doing outside? You were gone for like 20 minutes and you wasted like one fifth of the film. Sorry, Taffeta, but I just wanted to check out the posters of other films. I also checked out the IMAX theater and boy, it was so cool. I really liked that countdown video they played. What's interesting is that it begins as a typical countdown clock starting from 10. But then at 8, it turns into a blue CGI world, and the numbers turn from 2D to 3D. And then you zoom through the numbers, and some of the numbers turn into words. Like mind-blowing images, earth-shattering sound, and the ultimate movie experience. And then finally, it reads, IMAX is believing. We should have went into the IMAX theater and watched the film there. Well, if it were for that, we wouldn't be seeing Pikachu then. Guess you're right, Taffeta. They could be playing a different movie in there. Guys, can you please stop with this talking? You're gonna bother the audience trying to watch the film. We want to hear all the dialogue, too. I'm gonna go get some drinks. Francis, no, Francis, come back! You were only here for like a minute or two, and then you just left again. And your popcorn's gonna... Mr. Peanut Butter Cup, how come you don't want to see the rest of the movie? I just want to ask if you have a fruit punch, mister. 
I apologize, but we are all out of fruit punches today, kid. Okay, then. What about grape juice? We don't have grape juice either. Apple juice? Nope. Cranberry juice? No. Orange juice? No. Strawberry juice? No. I'm sorry, but the only drink we have left is water and that's it. Why don't you accept water here at this cinema? Is there a drink vending machine here in this theater? There is, but it is out of order. I'm sorry. Oh golly, this is so terrible. Where will I be able to get fruit punch? I know where you can get one, Rancis. Taffeta, how come you don't want to see the movie anymore? Because I lost my mood on watching the film, and it looked very dark. But I'm thinking of going to McDonald's. They have fruit punches there. Oh boy, McDonald's. I love that restaurant. Why don't we get some food there? Yeah, let's go. I'm sorry they're out of fruit punches here, but I actually changed my mind and got a Coke instead. Can I tell you a story of how me and you became friends? Okay. I remember one day when I went to a party in an Art Deco museum, and I saw a boy with a Reese's peanut butter cup hat like you. And being that I used to be a huge fan of Art Deco designs at that point, I thought I'd approach you because I wondered if you'd be an Art Deco design fan as well. But then you told me you were only going to the museum as part of a class trip. I then asked if you were a candy fan, just like me, and you said yes. Both you and I love chocolate together. I was wondering if you'd come along and join the Sugar Rush Racer group. At first you were reluctant to give it a try, but I wanted to see if you would like it because I really like racing in Sugar Rush and I believed you'd like it too. So I took you to Sugar Rush and they were nice enough to let you race with us on the track. And then a funny thing happened that day. You actually loved racing in Sugar Rush. I became so happy to see how you loved it. And being that you used to be a fan of strawberries and you really like my hat, that is how we became best friends together, that we'd race with each other all the time. And ever since then, we've been best friends together. So Rancis, how did you like that story? Good story, Taffeta. But I think we should start eating now before our food gets cold. You know, I think McDonald's is a better choice for us than the theater, right, Rancis? Yeah, Taffeta. I lost my mood for watching the movie anyway. And we're both starving for lunch. Let's start eating now. Okay. Looking for a Reese's Cup hatted guy and a strawberry hatted girl here in the theater. Do you know where they went? I think he recognizes you. Well, I was Harry's partner, so I would have. Why can't she answer? Harry's informant is a Pokemon. Get him! 